hello everyone so today we are going to learn how to uh, develop a small level websites using google sites so what is the use of it and why we are doing this uh, first it do not require it doesn't require any coding language so anyone can do it uh, just you need to drag and drop the things and you can develop your own website and what is the use of it so basically there are three basic uses for a teacher to develop a website first is creating your own personal uh, home page like you can see this uh, uh, home page of professor subhashish banerji uh, computer science department iit delhi and you can see the there are some basic information about uh, his achievements and his uh, teaching career and uh, there is another one so this is different from this one this is a uh, simple one and this is a tab one so you you can see there are tabs and uh, the information is quite in detail and the second use is uh, you can develop a course home page so that students can visit that course home page any time any where uh, and get the information about the course you, so let me take an example uh, just i'm going to click on this and uh, these are the courses taught by professor subhashis uh, i'm going to click on this one so you can see this is the course home page introduction to computer science where the, all the basic information are there so this is a second uh, basic use of google site and the third one which we can use is if uh, if you and you or your department is going to conduct an faculty development program of workshop or any conference so you can develop a uh, home page for that using google site so this is the third use which we are going to discuss and which you will have to do uh, in this uh, task so uh, let's see how to develop it so to develop a google site uh, you just need to have a gmail id and uh, gmail ID, you can use your gmail id username and password to uh, create a site so what you will have to do just go to your internet browser and type sites dot google dot com sites dot google dot com click on enter just use your gmail username and password so i am using this uh, email id so you will land up on this page uh, you will just have to click on the blank one we are going to use this these are the templates which can use you can you can explore later but for this time we are going to use a blank template so click on this plus button okay so this is the first page which you will see and we are going to edit this page to develop our website so now how to uh, go ahead just first type any name of the website so if you are going to uh, develop a profile page then you can just type your profile and uh, you can type your name here Uh, you can change the font size so i am if you want it uh, a smaller one then you can go for heading and if otherwise you can go for this title you can change make it bold italic if you want it and uh, it is already centered so you don't need it, the alignment or you can delete this whole section if you don't want it uh, you can put your name here also so just uh, i have typed my name here now what we are going to we are going to use these two buttons to develop a website so text box and images so if you want to include your image then you just click on this button and click on upload uh, you can go and uh, upload your image uh, i am going to use this cat image but you must include your own profile pic 
if you are developing your own website so uh, this is it this is about uh, how to upload an image very simple now let's see uh, and try to create some sections like click on this text button and I'm going to name this section as teaching so whatever I teach I will include here so I will click on this bullet or numbered bullet so discrete mathematics computer architecture and whatever you subject you teach uh, you can include here uh, we can make it bold by clicking on this adding section adding part adding button and this is it so this is the first block of teaching uh, you, we can include another block by clicking again on this button so let me include and write research and research publications you can specify your research publications so I am going to use this bullet button so suppose any uh, survey on books journal name journal of education technology and so on you can include your second paper and third paper and so on so this is the second section now let us include one more section so uh, I can include like uh, suppose educational qualification so I uh, can write it like uh, PhD from JNU and so on so that's it so this is our home page you can make some more changes like uh, if you want that this part uh, you want you can drag it uh, here you want to include this name to be here and you can change this banner also so if you want it uh, you can upload the image and you can change this banner banner and you can change the uh, size of this banner also so this is default uh, banner size you can make it large you can make it more uh, large and you can just go for title so if you don't want it you can delete it so this is the basic website uh, which you have developed I think in a couple of minutes okay now let's try to publish this website and uh, we will try to send this link to our colleagues so you don't have uh, to do something very typical thing for that just click on this publish button so the site name is going to be like this https sites.google.com slash view slash whatever you type the name here so uh, suppose I type Nick Raj 01 if it might sometime happen that this name is you will see this message that this name uh, has already been taken so we will have to just go for uh, another name so like just just like when we create our new gmail id so you this name should be unique okay and click on this publish so that's it the website is now online if you want to share the link with your friends or colleagues then click on this button copy published link and this is the link of your website you can share this link with your friends through email through whatsapp through telegram or any other okay let's try to explore some other options so what we are going to do we are going to uh, go for a new website so uh, we will click on this button and uh, we will land up on again on our initial page so just we are going to develop another website so click on this plus button now this is a fresh website uh, we are going to make some other modifications so we are going to use this themes so you can see you can change the color here uh, this background color is changing you can set the bank uh, 
font style also we can you can change light make it light make it heavy or that's uh, just the classic uh, we have uh, options to change the theme uh, style also so uh, these are the some styles like aristotle diplomat vision and so Okay, so uh, you must remember the uh, the page of of the Ambala Krishnan, in which there are tabs. So you can see there are different tabs, and uh, uh, the details are on different sections. So what we are going to do uh, that we are going to make a website like this. So for this, you will have to you click on this second tab, pages. You can see this is a default page which we which uh, we call as home page. Uh, if you want to insert another page here so you can you can click on this link the new page and you can name it here like research publications done you can see these are the two buttons uh, you can add more uh, suppose you name it courses taken you can add more uh, like uh, you can uh, go for extra curricular activities administrative jobs and so on and you can make modifications uh, on different pages so, so like this is research page so you can add the details again by using this text button and image so you can add the, your research work here and in the similar way uh, click on different tabs and you can modify you can uh, do the modification using tab uh, this these two buttons text box and images so let's now explore some other features which can be used uh, for the website uh, so let's try this image carousel. Uh, just click on this image carousel. You will have to upload image, and the image should be more than one. So I am selecting this image and this image. Uh, it might take some time to upload. So click on insert. can drag it and resize it according to your requirement alright so that's it uh, so image schedule let's uh, see the preview of web page now you can see that this is just like a image slider so this is image image carousel we can also use uh, collapsible text uh, to display uh, if you have something uh, something in the form of a long list you can use this collapsible text uh, for example if you have uh, lots of publication then you can use this uh, collapsible text to display that information so I'm writing this publication and here you can give your list of publications for this demo I'm writing this ABCD so this is collapsible text you can see that this is collapsed and uh, when you click on this it will expand a uh, button you can use to uh, create link uh, from one page to another or from uh, this page to some other website so for example uh, I can use this uh, button to link on my uh, courses page let's let me write here courses only 
so whenever I will click here I will go to this process I will show the this in, in the preview part uh, with the divider you can make division between uh, different sections like courses and you can write we put some other section here you can also put YouTube link here so you just search for any uh, video and you can put the link here suppose I want to give the link of this video then I can put it like here uh, let's see the preview of these tasks now you can see this is uh, expandable text so collapsible text and this is the YouTube video and if you click on this courses then you will end up in this course homepage